and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. My name is Tony, and today we'll go through the process of, of keying in some points based off an alignment using a station and an offset, as opposed to keying in a point with your traditional grid coordinates, you know, a, a northern easting elevation. So uh, if you're out in the field with some, uh, a plan set, uh, maybe there's some, you know, utilities or, you know, culverts or, you know, storm sewer catch basin or something like that uh, on, on your plan set. So I'll, I'll show you a couple of ways that we can stake that out uh, using triple access. So you can see on my screen here, just a real simple uh, XML alignment is all I have in here. I'll just zoom in to where I'm working. And one way we can kind of stake out these locations would be one way to have my selection tool highlighted here. Click on my alignment. Uh, you can see my arrow is heading kind of in a northeasterly direction. So an offset to the left would be negative, offset to the right would be a positive. So just clicking on stakeout, uh, just confirming my uh, antenna heights and intervals, whatever I want for uh, intervals. Hit next. And now I'm going to stake out a station on the alignment. I have a few different options in here, but for today we'll use station on alignment. Uh, the string is just my center line of that XML, just again, just a real simple alignment. So my offset for maybe say 0.11 is going to be 28.18. Now I can hit the little right arrow for left or right, or if I use a negative or a positive, a negative is gonna be left, positive will be right. So in this example, 2018 to the right, and then station 169.78. I hit the tab button there, and then you can see my alignment uh, well, at station 169.78 at 28.18 to the right, I can go ahead and hit start to stake out that point. So in this example, maybe you, you have just a, a few different uh, items you need to stake out. You don't want to maybe uh, stake out using the uh, alignment method that we have here or the station on alignment method. Uh, but what we can do is if you have some time, we can actually key in these locations in access. So I'm just going to escape out of there. I'm going to go into my menu. I'll go down into key in and go to points. So this is traditionally what you would see. You know, you have a key in point, give it a name code, northern eastern elevation. We, we don't have that information. So on the bottom, there's a little options tab. I'll click on that, or soft key, I should say. And then under the uh, options here for the coordinate view, scroll down to station and offset. We'll use that. So the type. Again, you can do this off a of line arc alignment. Uh, I just have a road file. My format is, again, as an XML. You could use RXL or Genial here. Uh, the file name and then the alignment name uh, are also selected here. So I'll just go ahead and hit accept. Now, if I want to give it a point name of, say, point 11, uh, I'll just call this a uh, call it culvert. So at station. 169.78 and an offset of 28.18 feet. And I uh, also have an uh, option to give it an elevation. So on these plans here, it's calling for an elevation of 100. So if I scroll down, it's going to give me a computed grid northern eastern and elevation. Again, I can change that if I need to. You can see on the map screen, it gives me a, a calculated or a computed location. If I hit store, now I have an actual point that I can actually stake out in the field. So if you got time to maybe key some of the stuff in beforehand and you don't want to you know, stake out uh, using the station on alignment method, uh, again, we can go in and we can key in some points uh, in the office. So when you get out in the field, it's as easy as picking on point number 11, hitting stake out, and then you're on your way.